You're gonna make him my pet, aren't you? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 5-2 Toys Beast Box Shovelhead! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front here, we got Shovelhead, name is Shovelhead, 5-2 Toys, on this side we have Shovelhead, on this side we have Shovelhead, up top, Beast Box, on the bottom, words, thing, stuff, warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you, on the back of the box, we have some illustrated obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging, also included is a collector's card with a nice piece of artwork there of shovel head and on the back you have text specs and a bio if you want to read that on your own time hooray for cards then moving right along here we have shovel head another fun little figure here from five two toys and first and foremost i want to say a big thank you to the good people at five two toys for sending this out my way to take a look at thank you so much but yeah here is shovel head in his beast mode it looks pretty cool uh, i think i i initially wanted to say it's a warthog i don't think it's a warthog i think it's more a boar I think it's supposed to be a boar, but I'm not entirely sure, but it's a beast mode. It's a cool looking beast mode. And we're getting closer as we can take a look at those details. You get a transparent orange there on the sides of the head. And the ears down in gray. Got kind of a nice little tan color going on there in black with some spots of green. But overall, some nice detail here. You got some more of that transparent orange there. So a green emblemage. The tail. The tail is made of rubber. You get the detail back there. That shovel head booty. And yeah, there is the top. There is the bottom. He slides like boars slide. Hooray for sliding, sliding, whatever. Boars, warthogs, I don't know. But <laughs> articulation-wise, uh, the head can move from side to side, it can move up and down, uh, the ears can rotate, that's more for transformation, you kind of angle those ears how you want, so the front legs can rotate, not very far though, because stuff starts to get in the way, you get a little bit of outward movement, a little bit of forward and back, you got forward and no real backward movement here, you got some forward and backward here, little hooves can move forward and back some, the hind legs Again, can rotate, not too much in and out. A little bit of forward and back. Again, can rotate. You got rotation right here. You have this joint, which can't move much further than that. Can move forward. Again, the hooves can move forward and back some. And the tail can move up and down. Now, along with shovel head, I was also sent this right here. Um, which, as you can see... Uh, Shovelhead is pictured on the packaging, and it's this piece right here, and apparently it is a plow and harrow, and also a, uh, a weapon mode, um, so yeah. This thing, honestly, I, I, I'm not totally on board with this, because it doesn't really incorporate into Shovelhead as well, um, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kind of open this up, Open these sections up here, like that, and uh, rotate these sections up, and then undo that, and rotate these sections up, rotate that up, and then you want to undo this little yellow bit here, plug it back here, and then just kind of have this sitting like that, and this will hook in like right under his jaw, basically. Just get that out of the way and just kind of hook that under and now shovel head has a uh well more of a shovel head i mean which makes sense but still it's like it's it's just like okay oh it's a it's it's a thing you can do it's it's a thing you can do but i yeah I, I'm, not, I'm personally not a fan <laughs> but hey it's always it's yours do what you want um Another thing you can do is you can also just open these sections up and rotate all of this back in. You have these little bits here you can flip out. So rotate this in, flip that out, and it just kind of looks like a like a crossbow 
kind of deal going on. Now, they don't tell you how to connect this to him. I don't know if it's just a case of you're doing the exact same thing, where it's just hooking it under under space. I don't know. Actually, I don't think that works that way, because you can't do that. I don't know. There is a, a post right here. But this post doesn't fit anywhere that I can see, so I'm not exactly sure. That seems like a 5mm post, so I mean, I guess you can give it to another figure if you want that can hold this as a weapon. But as far as uh, shovel head goes here, I'm not entirely sure if this has anywhere to go. So hey, it's a thing. Not a big fan of it, but hey, it's, it's a thing that exists, so... I am more a fan of Shovelhead, but yeah, that is basically it for the Beast Mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing you want to do is take these orange sections here and just push these in. You then want to open up his belly here, and all of this will flip out. You can just kind of flip this up and get this out of the way, and then you're just going to take the head and tuck it down. And it will tuck down into the body like so. And then you can close this up. And you have little tabs that will go into notches right there in the head. And that will just secure all that right there. You can take this panel and bring that up. And then you're going to take this whole backpack section here. And just kind of bring all this up. Bring all of this up. And just kind of get things out of your way so you can work on the legs so what you're going to do here is just going to bring the legs back you're going to rotate them and then take the little hoof and just fold that in like so same thing here just rotate and bring that up fold the little hoof down and then you're just going to bring these up and what's going to happen here ultimately is they're going to Oh, you want to rotate all this down first. One extra step here. You want to bring this section, this entire crotchial region down. There you go. Rotate that down, and then you can bring this up. It's going to sit, like, right up in here. So, one side moves up a little bit more than the other. There we go. Let's get that tucked up in there. Bring this around. Fold that in. There we go. Get that tucked up right in there like that. And then you can take this entire assembly and just push it in. And the tail will just push in. has its own little kind of clip to sit in right there. You want to take the legs and just push them in. You can see there's a little tab, little notch connection right there. So just line that up and just push them in on either side. So line that up and push that in so it's looking like that these you just want to bring down and you're going to slide all of this forward like that so just bring that down and slide all of this forward so it compresses all up like that on either side and that is how you want that looking so now you want to take this section here and you just want to rotate it up and then just bring it down and that will just sit our little little notches for it, little tabs and notches for it to sit. So make sure it just sits flush in there, like so. Then you can take this panel and just sit that down like that. And then you want to take these bits here, open them up, and all of this will just collapse down. And again, you're going to have little tabs and little notches right in here, tabs right there. So just line all that up and just drop that down. And that should sit there just like that. And as far as the front legs go, um, you have a little tab slot connection right here. So just shift that leg back. Then you just take the little leg here and angle it back like so. Same thing here. So just bring that leg back so it can tab in. And then just bring all of this back like so. Little ears here you do want to tuck in. Just kind of rotate them in. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. And, you know, just get all that nice and lined up. Get everything nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Shovelhead in his box. Oh.
Ooh, pretty good spin too. They have shovel head in box mode, and yes, it's a box. Uh, not the most cohesive box. It's a little gappy, not the most solid box, but still a decent box mode nonetheless. And of course, as always, you do get the box charger here, so you can open this up, shovel head, shove them in there, and voila, now shovel head can charge. And as always, you can take multiple charging boxes, plug them together sideways, top to bottom, and just have a wall of boxes. Uh, it's always a cool way to display these if you want. So there you have Shovelhead, and uh, yeah, another cool little figure here from 5-2 Toys. Uh, very good looking beast mode, as always. I am I am always impressed with their design, um, with their engineering. I say this time and time again, like the, the engineering just baffles me. And, you know, again, people way smarter than me that can figure out how to get so many different animals and robots and whatever out of the same basic shape, again, just always blows my mind may not be impressive to you. I always get people who say, what's the point of returning into a box? But either way, I mean, it's still some impressive engineering here. But yeah, I dig him, and I think this is uh, going to be Mascot's new pet. I think so. I think they'll be very happy together. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of 5-2 Toys other offerings, you can check out their Amazon store. I'll put a link to it in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also get 5-2 Toys from BigBadToysStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the 5-2 Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the 5-2 Toys Beast Box Shovel Head, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing... Be geek, be proud, palm in your face.